hey guys welcome back to my channel in the last session we have seen how to write data into a google sheet with the help of your path studio and we have seen how to use the right range activity as well to perform uh, the operation of transferring data from a data table to a google sheet in your path studio in the present session i am going to show you how to transfer the data from an excel sheet into a google sheet with the help of your path studio so here i took a sheet having data of 1002 records so i am going to transfer all this data into a google sheet so which we already created so this is the google sheet which is nothing but the test spreadsheet we have created so here i will add one more sheet to it so here i'll just click on this plus button So a new sheet got added which is nothing but the sheet 2. So now for performing any action on an excel sheet first we need to bring the excel application scope. So for that search with the word as excel application scope. So you can find this in app integration under excel. So just drag and drop and place it outside the G Suite application scope of designer panel. So here just browse the folder location of the nothing but the excel sheet so from which you want to transfer the data so as i have placed this inside the folder of the project so i'm just selecting from there so this is my excel sheet having the data and here in the do of the excel application scope so we need to write the activities what we want to perform so here we need to read the data from this excel sheet on sheet 2 so for that I am going to use read range activity so here you can see the read range so inside the workbook we need to use this read range activity under the app integration so place it under the do of excel application scope so here it is having the inputs for sheet 1 and the range so here our data lies in the sheet 2 So I'm just updating with sheet now and if you are not providing any range so it will consider the all data available in the sheet okay so next thing is the output and here the output of this read range is nothing but a data table so just keep a variable called dt which contains the data that is fetched from the excel sheet sheet 2 and here we have also options called headers and a preserve format so if you want to use the headers just click check this box and you can use the data table in the google application scope for writing into the google sheet okay so for writing the data into a google sheet so first we need to configure the z2 application scope with our client id and client secret and then go to the excel search for sheets so inside this we can find the right range activity so just drag and drop into the gz application scope so here it is showing the inputs for the spreadsheet id so i'm going to copy this id Okay, just place it inside the double quotes in the input field and then so here I just want to paste all my data in the sheet 2 from the cell A1 so here it is having the data table as input so here in the right range activity we got one data table DT so that data table I am going to use here to update the data into my Google sheet okay so we are set with the inputs of this right range in for google sheet and so here also we have the option include headers so i just want to include the headers and here i will print the range so here i create a variable called range and for printing this range so i am going to use the 
the right line activity so one second just a second there are some duplicates here So, for right line, just search for right line. Sorry. So, here we need to give the range. So, this will print the range of the right range activity. So, let's run this now. And we'll check the transfer of data from from Excel sheet to a Google sheet. The execution is started now. Object reference set to instance. So here we got an error saying object reference not set to an instance of an object. So why it is showing the error? So if you notice my dt variable it is limited to the do of excel application scope so that's why it is saying the error as object reference not set to an instance of an object so as we are getting a null value here in the right range of uh, dt variable that's why we got the error like this so to change the to avoid this error we need to change the scope of this dt variable to transfer to sheets which is nothing but the whole sequence so let's check now the execution is started again so this time again we got the same error yeah there is a duplicate in the variable so let me delete the duplicate so just click on the unused variables so it will go seems like there is a duplicate issue uh, yeah so I hope this will work now so this also this is belongs to the excel application scope or yeah this is related to the suite application scope okay so let's try again now the execution is completed so let's check the google sheet so you can see the data of 1002 records along with the headers is transferred into the google sheet so as we have limitation of thousand records so let's verify whether our data is copied or not of 1002 so you can see 1002 are there so inside the excel so we have the last record of the username bbb with the id 0960 so it is copied into our google sheet so it means this google spreadsheet is expanding based on the user input so let's try with one more sheet so here in this sheet one so I have the data of around 89,816 records. So let's try to transfer the whole data at a single shot. So for that I am going to add one more sheet into my Google spreadsheet. So this time it is with the sheet name as sheet 3. So in the same way I am going to make the changes here. So first we need to change the Excel application scope sheet name. So here instead of sheet 1 I am updating it as sheet one so sheet 2 is replaced with the sheet 1 and here in the G Suite application scope under the right range so here we need to change from 2 to 3 okay so this will print all the data of 18,000 records into a google sheet and here if you notice the output so it has 
a value here which is nothing but the range so that is starting from a1 to k0 k10002 so nothing but so here inside the sheet 2 so if you notice so let's go to the corner so our data is completely updated till k so k1002 is the last cell of the range so that is showing here okay so let's transfer the data of sheet 1 into the sheet 3 of google sheet so let's execute now so the execution is started so it is taking some time uh, i think there is some limitation okay so here we got some error like uh, request error request payload size exceeds the limit so it has some limitation of uh, data and bytes so that's why it is showing some error so anyway no issues so within this limited range of data so we can transfer the data from a google sheet from an excel sheet to the google sheet so this is the point we should note it okay so and you can perform the operations on the data as well before uploading into the google sheet so we have different operations or different activities are available or those activities you can use like joining the tables so i will show you so if you see the excel in the app integration or in the data tables so we have data tables like uh, lookup data table match data table join data tables so these kind of operations we can perform on the data once the data is read from the excel sheet so here with the, the output of this data table dt so we can include it inside a join data table activity or lookup data table activity and then based on their output we can write into the google sheet so that's all for this session i hope you like this video if you like the video please do like and subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions to the video so you can mention it in the comment section thank you